We set 3D Metal Forge up at the end of 2016 to help support clients as they expanded into metal and other end use parts. So at that point we were starting to get a lot, a lot of inquiries and we wanted to set up a specialist company to help. The reason we did that was because metal printing is quite unique. The things that you need to understand to produce good metal parts are quite different from other 3D printing. So we consider ourselves an additive manufacturer um, and, and we very much focus on redesigning parts for clients and giving them high quality prints. Sometimes that's for original manufacturers, sometimes that's for research companies, sometimes that's for people that want to uh, produce new parts with a new technology. Yes, so we've been printing parts like impellers, um, parts of lifting hooks, um, antenna mounts, swivel joints, and we're in quite a lot of conversations with marine and oil and gas companies for even more advanced parts. We use the AM400 for printing a range of metal parts. Um, it's currently pretty busy at the moment. I would say that of all of the printers that we've got in our facility, the AM400 is probably the most reliable. Um, and over the last six months has had the highest uptime and utilization of all of our printers. So we use Infini AM Central to monitor the printer as it's running. So we use it to check the powder, um, print run, and to make sure that the no alarms have gone off for um, any critical conditions during the printer. At the moment, it's, it's fairly useful for tracking that, but we think that as we expand the number of printers, it will become even more important so we can track a range of printers during a mixed productions. For us, it was very important that we worked with an engineering company that understood manufacturing um, rather than just a pure, 3D printing company that produced printers. And I think the difference tells in how the printers performing for us.